Hi guys, in this lecture I am going to teach you how to give the more than one background to a HTML element. Here I am going to give two different images in the background of this div and then I will teach you uh, special properties of the CSS3 background that is the background origin and background clip. So let's start. First of all here I have already created a div and here is its width and height and the border and now I am going to give the background image here. Here is the background image. And first of all, we have to write the URL of the first image. Here is the URL. And here in between this, I'm going to write the name and the extension of the image. And then here is the comma. And then here is the second URL. And it's name and the extension of the image here is 3.jpg and now let's check it here th there is only one image because we have not provided the other properties position and the no repeat so now i'm going to apply here the background position background position and first of all I'm gonna provide the position to the first image both images are present here for 3 dot jpg 4 dot jpg and first of all we have to give the position of the first image here I'm gonna give the right bottom to the first image and then the position comma and then the position of the second image is left top and you can also give the position in the pixels from the right side uh, from the x, x axis 100 pixel from the y axis 100 pixel you can give the position in the pixels and now here i'm going to apply the background repeat and here is i'm going to no repeat for both of these images no repeat and now let's check it it's going to be shown so why it is not applied the second image is not shown because we have not give the background size so now i'm going to give the background size to both of these images here is the back background size here i'm going to edit it to make it size and first of all i'm going to give the size of the first image 100 pixel for the width and 200 pixel height and here is 300 pixel this is the size of the second image 300 pixel is the width of the second image and 100 pixel is the height of the second image and now here it is here is the first image and here is the second image now this process is too long we have also the shorthand property we can put the more than one images in the background uh, by using the shorthand property but here I want to tell you something you are free to put the background images you have not any limit to put the background images and now I'm gonna put this image by using the shorthand property here I'm gonna make it in the comment here is the comment so now it's not going to be shown on the screen here it is and now let's use the background shorthand property first of all give the URL of the first image here I'm gonna give it 4.jpg and then we have to give the background position here of the first image here I'm gonna copy this and then paste it here and then I'm gonna give the size of the first image here is the size of the first image copy it here is copy it and then here we have to write forward slash and then the size of the image and then we have to give the repeat property here I'm gonna write no repeat and then the first image is ready here I'm gonna show you this is the first image and now what we need to do we have to write comma and then all the properties of the second image here I'm gonna copy the URL of the second image here is the URL of the second image and here is the position 
of the second image by adding a space and then we have to write the repetition uh, the size of the second image here it is by writing the forward slash and then we have to give the no repeat property or the repetition if we want to repeat and here it is and now it is okay here you see that both are inserted by using the background pro property and now guys I'm gonna tell you about the new CSS3 background properties that are the background origin and background clip property by using these properties you can set the background position from where it is started from the border and it is started from the padding area it is hard to explain I will tell you what is it here I'm gonna remove all of these things here it is remove it and remove this and here is the shorthand property and now here I'm gonna apply no repeat and here is the three dot jpg and now here I'm gonna apply a border here is dashed and now let's reload it and here you see that the image is apply so now let's check it here it is and now here I'm gonna apply the background origin property first of all background origin property here it is the origin and now here I want to tell you something that now the background origin property have the default value that is the padding box here what is the padding box effect here you see that the background is started after the border here is the background it is started after the border so now after the border the padding is started so that's why it now it have the default value padding box and the background is started from where the padding is start here I'm gonna add the padding and then you can see it clearly here is the padding of 30 pixel and now here I'm gonna apply the color on the text is white and a space inside is created and here you see that this is the padding and the background is started where the padding is started but this is the padding box property here it is you can see that but if we apply the border box so now the background is going to be start where the border is started here you see that this is the border line and now the background is started from there and if we apply the content box so now the background is start where the text is gonna be start here you see that this is the background origin and it will be apply on the background image but if we give a background color so we have to use the background clip property here is the background color is red and here it is and now it have the default value border box because the background is started from the border and here we have to write clip property background clip so now it's going to be start from the content box and if we give it padding box then it will be start after the border where the padding is start here it is and if we give it border box then it is the default value you already know what its effect here it is here it is and this is all the CSS3 background properties if you have any problems so kindly at the discussion I will help you as much as I can thank you for watching this video I will see you in the next video